we are launched uh, the archives of President's International Fellowship Initiative, the PiFi, in short. Uh, it's uh, launched several years ago. So the PiFi includes various, uh, various uh, the scholarships and the fellowships that support the young talents uh, all over the world to study and conduct uh, academic cooperation uh, in the uh, CAS uh, institutes. So, so far, uh, the 934 students from the 36 uh, African countries uh, have been uh, sponsored to study at the University of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, we call the UCAS, and the uh, University of Science and Technology of China, uh, USTC. According to the World Bank and United Nations reports, Africa must train one million PhDs now if it is to attain its share of the global development. Clearly, this must be expedited with a sense of urgency. The African continent cannot wait for tomorrow in order to implement this. Training these one million PhDs in one, is one of the many areas where cars can be a strong as a kind of strong assistance to AAS. It's also predicted that by 2034, Africa will be home to 1.1 billion working youth. China equally has a growing young population that represents a resource for that country and the world, with growing youth population in education. Already, China has become the preferred destination for a larger proportion of young African students pursuing both undergraduate and postgraduate studies uh, in that country.